So we've been playing around with our axial Capra. Pretty stock, but with brushless motors and good servos. We softened the springs a little bit and they've demonstrated why they're better than the 20 or so trail trucks that we've been playing around in our courses. But today we're gonna demonstrate why it's at another level. So here is a ledge, it powers through and gets through no problem. Here it does a little another power hop. And what's cool about it is it's low and balanced enough and wide that when you power through, it doesn't unsettle it too much. Most trail trucks when you when you when you when you apply a good boost of power like that, it'll just slip over. And here it can straddle very nicely. Very controlled, this one, this blue one has a hobby wing motor. A little power there and notice it went on its side, but it, it sat back down. This is actually a very tough little section where the rock on the left just interrupts the forward motion, but the Capra is able to articulate and really go over a square edge rock, either with its front tires or rear tires. This red one we have has a very powerful reef servo and a sensorless out outrigger motor. Very sensitive, very smooth, but po powers well. This blue Capra has full articulation here, 97 degree shocks. 97 millimeter shocks and this red one the shocks are limited to 90 millimeters and you notice the articulation is not quite the same as the blue one little lift there so here we're going to demonstrate the outrunner motor on the red capra this is the low speed modulation of it and uh, this is not slow down at all it is insanely slow both front and back you hear this little whine too as it as it spools up so you have a little bit of uh, feedback that it's gonna start moving and then when it's time to go fast it's got a crazy top end as well so the, key, the key here is to have a nice ESC uh, to control all this range and the Mamba Sidewinder or I believe the Mamba Max is a good for it That's or the Castle and here is the, the blue one with Hobby Wing we thought it was slow but not as slow <laughs> but it's got punch and here the two cappers are gonna go play and what's really cool about this is we had our best trail trucks, the T uh, Traxxas TRX Pro and the Element RC, fully modded, and they couldn't really do these uh, these tracks right here. This section of our park, Linda Vista and Cupertino, we never really got to use because it was just rocks, and the trail trucks just didn't. It wasn't fun. But with these capras, it really opened up a new territory. Watch that, watch these things just jump. Here is the red capra. It doesn't seem like there's a line, but with the articulation and the amazing side hilling, has no problem. That little jump too gives it lifts the front end a little bit. And over here is a crazy line. If we had flags, this would be a good course. Like I said, our TRX4 and Element uh, could not go here. So it's really it's it's really good at the articulation and the the ledges up and down. Uh, it, it's able, you know. Obviously, it has the advantage of having no body, no bumper, which the tires are getting contact. We'll hand the god there. And here we're going to use the, the, the left tire to initiate contact. And once the tire contacts, wow. good things can happen. 
and it goes without saying that it is actually more important to have an amazing steering servo uh, on these type of rigs because the tires are so exposed and you will be in terrain, rocky terrain that that is much more difficult than trail trucks. Here is a crazy old rock ledge. The our other vehicles made it through, but it took a long time. This is our blue capper with a hobby wing, 2300 kV. It's crawling like a little spider. And here, it's, it just crawls. And then at a point you need power, just a little boost. Oh, there we it's enough go. to get it going. Got stuck, but made its way out. And here, this line never yeah, existed before these cars came. Here. Because it is just a crazy corner. And a side hill like no other. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, consider right, subscribing. Uh, we're gonna have a ton more video like this, uh, especially on the Capra. And if you want to purchase these vehicles or these motor servos, uh, check on our links in the description, since they will help so out this funny. channel. We get a we get a tiny commission out of it. Here's the blue Capra. Never been here. And said, what's going on here? Note that so far we have not used our our dig transmission in any of the past footage. Yeah, we know. tried, but it was just a pain in the butt. That, that so here, shoot. you couldn't even really do the dig here to get oh. the steering radius Ooh, because nice. once you do dig, you're in two-wheel drive turn hard, turn hard. and you have very little climbing, clawing traction. So you, you almost have to be uh, on top uh, level too if you want the crazy short so steering there you go. The wider uh, width of the Capra enables yeah. it to have yeah. very good side healing ability. And here the Capra with the hobby wing celebrates with some donuts. <clears throat> Pay attention to the, the blue car on the far far end there. The red car is just a four pound SCX 10-2. We'll do a video on that later. But it's climb, climbing this extreme hill. Its tires are not even the best. Uh, but it's able to make it swell. It's got so much balance that you got a lot of time to to think. Even when it's tipping over, you have a little bit of time to correct it. Wow. So it's best to go slow when it's this steep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And now the red Capra. Uh, this thing has Pudu KLR tires. Just the front. Seems to have less of a problem because you're, you're on the rear tires more. And here is a crazy right turn. Note that Dig is not engaged, we tried, but it offered no advantage to us here. Because it could not climb once Dig was engaged. And here is an insane side hill. Really at the limit. I'm not sure what the angle on that is, we should measure it sometime. Oh, here's a close up. You can see how stressed the tires are. Uh, good dual stage foams are good. If you can go the going away, he could should be able to come back, right? It's just so composed. So that the tight tolerances of the chassis, the links really help it out. Here's still a little bit of side healing. And here we're gonna descend. Not bad, nicely done, and that's in four-wheel drive mode. Here the dig is locked, the rear is locked. And did not quite make a difference in that one. It was just too steep and it just started sliding down. Over here, I believe. Let's look at the tires. Looks like oh the dig is engaged as well, so the rear wheels are locked. 
in the situation. This is so cool here where it slides and helps under control. Maybe. So here is another steep one. No drag. So this is four wheel drive. You're able to get through. The dig is not engaged. And you can get through a lot of things like this actually. So the dig has a little bit of advantage and we'll demonstrate it here. It's the one situation today where we found a, a, a big advantage for the dig. With the rear wheels dragging, it has a little bit more control. So obviously both vehicles made it down, but the dig rear locked was quite a bit more controlled. Um, if this was a much longer, even a little steeper descent, the dig uh, rear locked would have made a bigger difference. So we can see its benefit right there. Basically cliffs. And here we'll close with uh, a segment that was undoable to us in many visit visits because it's a steep rocky section and it had that gnarly root <laughs> on, the, uh, on the right. But everything the Capra had going for it uh, travel, grip, portal axles came into play. So consider subscribing and if you want any of these products, click on the description to help the channel out. Thank you.